As part of activities to mark his 54th birthday, the senior pastor of the Namis International Gospel Center, Dr. Paul Enenche, on Saturday, June 4th, 2022, commissioned projects in some communities within the Federal Capital Territory. In Wukara Community on Airport Road, Abuja, the senior pastor donated a ball oil to end the age long water scarcity in the area. The project was fully funded by the Namis Church to give so call to the residents. Commissioning the ball oil, Pastor Enenche, who was flanked by his wife, Dr. Pastor Becky Enenche, stressed the importance of giving, saying that it was the responsibility of the church to make a difference and show light to the world by offering humanitarian services where needed. He highlighted other projects executed by the ministry, including road construction in different communities and states, ball all scholarship awards and donations to the underprivileged. They shall show forth my glory. We did not decide to be born. Therefore, we can't decide how to live. We must, we must live to the dictates of the one who created us, who brought us into this world. And that's my counsel. We shouldn't live as if God does not exist. We shouldn't live to our own selves. We should live a life that is pleasing to God in this world and live a life that has a guarantee of eternity after this life. That is what I think should be. My call to Nigerians is to understand that there is something more important than income. It is called impact. There is something more important than making a living. It is called making a difference. There is something more important than prosperity. It is posterity. There is something more important than making money. It is making meaning. There is nothing that we take out of this world into eternity other than the impact we make and the lives we change. Okay, what's happening here today? We already said it at the beginning. Um, early this year, God's servant had the leading to put cottage churches in this kind of communities that are far away from um, the city where that the local indigenous can easily have a place of worship. And then, in addition, accompany it with the provision of drinkable pipe bone, uh, borehole, portable water. And so this was done and this is being dedicated today. But of course, we shouldn't just come empty. And so um, cooked food, um, welfare materials, clothes, bags, shoes, the, the, the distribution is on now, starting with the widows, the aged women, you can see very old women. In fact, there are one or two that they themselves couldn't come out to collect the materials. Their children have to come and pick it for them and so on and so forth. So that is what uh, we're here to do today. And the community is happy. We had the chief give a vote of thanks at the um, at the borehole dedication. And everybody is just alive and agog. Wow, well, we, we have... Um, it's, uh, it's almost virtually a monthly ongoing project. At least the church buildings are monthly um, being going on. We are going now to a second dedication um, on the, another community somewhere here. And then um, it's something that goes on virtually every month. And of course, you said, do we expect it out outside the FCT? I think we even started outside the FCT much more than before we are now settling down in the FCT. Roads built in uh, uh, communities, um, churches built, primary school buildings, renovated primary school buildings, um, chief's house buildings, palace buildings, palace renovation. Uh, last year at my birthday, we, we, um, we dedicated a 10 uh, room, self-contained rooms, for destitute people uh, with borehole also attached to it and so on and so forth. So it's an ongoing project, ongoing, we do it all the time as the Lord helps us. Overwhelmed with joy, the district head of the community, Ibrahim Datu, lauded Pastor Enenche and the church for always reaching out to the society through their humanitarian projects. I am with my people of uh, Okara and uh, this welcome issue that come to us is a pl great pl pleasure to us to see this type of thing and i pray the almighty allah will grant these people whatever they wish for themselves i also expect 
the Almighty Allah, as they come from along from their own place to this uh, Wukara, God will carry them back very safely again. And uh, of course, uh, this type of thing, this is, I can say, is coming the first time to see this uh, great thing. Though we have had one before, but uh, that one, I cannot say, is comparable to the one I see today. I pray for the Almighty Allah to continue giving us this opportunity and the people that uh, brought this type of thing a, an everlasting uh, life. All the residents of the community and beneficiaries hailed the quality of the ball oil and prayed to God to continue to uplift the church and the senior pastor. We appreciate what our Baba and what God have give do for this community because to provide this uh, boho for uh, people of uh, Wukara, we are very, very appreciate. May the Lord bless them in Jesus' name. Anything that they need, God will provide for them in Jesus' name. From Wukara, the cleric and his entourage moved to Dafara in Kuje Area Council of the FCT for apostolic invasion and sanctuary dedication. Empowerment items such as clothing, foodstuffs were also distributed to residents of the community. From Abuja, I am Olotu Emmanuel, reporting for Idoma Television.